Stars of the show, Laura Main and Stephen McGann, join us now. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. I know my stance. I'm that boring. <laughs> was that Hong Kong, that one? Yes. Oh, well fantastic. You were saying, what's that? Was that Hong Kong? We didn't give him a heads up, no. <laughs> uh, now, is that going to be an integral part of the story? It, mm. it actually is, mm. yes. Yes, um, our because we're part of the Turner family and um, one of our many children that we have now is um, little me, who's um, still, we just foster her and her biological mother is in Hong Kong. So the contact's not regular, so that's a bit of a shock that there's this present that and she's suddenly sent. Yeah, sent. that's right. It's kind of a reminder that we've had a bit of trouble with May's status in our family mm. before. Mm -hmm. And that's gone on the back burner for a while, hasn't it? But at Christmas, mm -hmm. it begins to rear its head again. Yeah. So that's quite an interesting piece of the plot. Mm. Oh, it's, I love it. I love <laughs> and it's it. so different because you, you don't want to say too much. Obviously. We yeah, can't. You know, have we yeah. said too much now? <laughs> but it's really good. But there's nothing at all to do with the stamps. <laughs> <laughs> so for stamp watchers like myself, they're like, that was just a stamp <laughs> yeah. on an envelope. Yeah, exactly. Well, tell us this then. How did it feel? Because you recorded yeah. this in the summer, didn't you? Yeah. How was that getting into that festive season? Spirit and was it? I mean, were you boiling at that time of year? Well, no, your winter gear. Always <laughs> boiling. It's always the same. And you know what happens? Every single year, you can gauge a heat wave mm, by yeah. when we do the Christmas special. Oh, no. And they always go, you know, you say, oh, look, can I just at least take the hat off? No, <laughs> you can't take the hat off. But the reverse of that is we did shoot later on a summer episode oh, yeah. at the beach. And I have to say, that was worse because it was that typical British summer. We all went to the beach and yeah. it was raining, there was a gale. Oh, no. So I prefer winter woolies in summer, I have to admit. Yeah, that's yeah. OK. But you know what like they're that. really good at now? The snow effects oh, are really yes, getting yes, so yes. good that I turned the corner to do this big scene that we've we, we've got. Mm. <laughs> Not <laughs> saying too much. <laughs> and I turned the corner and suddenly I went from June, April, May, June to January. And it helps you actually feel cold mm. because there's yeah. mist and everything. It's really strange, but they're really mm. good the way they do it. Do you feel, we talked earlier about Christmas films and what makes a Christmas mm. film, and it's all part of our tradition. This, you know, 13 years of this mm. now, do you feel a little bit of pressure because you have become Ooh. a Christmas tradition in yeah. many, many households? Yeah. It is, a, it is a pressure. Do you I mean, feel it, is, it too? I, yeah. It is, but then I, I've got to admit, it's the first thing that we film. Uh, so, to be honest, what overrides the pressure is the excitement for us yeah. all to be back together. And, you know, I love Christmas, so, the fact that for over <laughs> yeah. a decade... Oh, I'm right, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, she really, <laughs> really, <obvious>. really does. <laughs> you know, to get two a year, you know, yeah. I, I'll be terribly sad when I don't, you know. Yeah. She's mad at Christmas. She just goes crazy. <laughs> she does the whole squee thing. She goes, Ooh, uh, Christmas don't we all? Don't we all? Yeah, which is lovely. Stephen, your wife is the uh, screenwriter for this. So she does that is. add any pressure for you? It does a lot because she's a great cook and she does a fantastic Christmas dinner. And we're both of the age where we remember those things where you have your Christmas dinner, you sit down, and in my day, going back, because I'm long in the tooth, <laughs> so it's <laughs> things like Morecambe and Wise, yeah. and you'd yeah. have sex. And suddenly, no one would ever told us that we'd be the, uh, one of those Christmas yeah. staples, which is a fantastic privilege. Mm. But she gets to make the dinner, and what she always says is, I do everything, and then everybody settles down in the house to watch telly, and we've got Call the Midwife. <laughs> Which is the work that she's done as well. Exactly. You know, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it, it is a staple. We all do yeah. enjoy it. You, you know, it's 13 years long. Did you ever imagine... You've both been in it from the start, haven't you? Yeah. Did you yeah. ever imagine you'd do this much of this show? No. And it, it, there was one lovely thing that happened just this week. Is someone on um, Twitter X or whatever you call mm. it posted yeah. about us yes. exactly 10 years ago at Christmas. Uh -huh. We were married in the Christmas episode. <laughs> yes, yes. And oh, yeah. 10 We've years ago... We've had a 10-year anniversary. We, we had to be we blinded have, by We have a hands. fake anniversary. <laughs> there, really, you know? It's incredible. Oh, it's yeah, look at that. You scrub up well, don't you? <laughs> you know, and we were surprised by that. And just as you say, Andy, you know, could you ever believe it? No. But I've got to say, back to the writing, I knew from just the pages that I was sent to audition, yeah. I thought, oh, this is good. Really? But I never, obviously never thought I'd still be getting to do it. So it's beyond my wildest dreams, amazing. it really is. I Absolutely I, I hear you guys were so surprised that it's been flying in America as well. It's just yeah. gone mm. worldwide, hasn't they it? They love it in America. And what happens at Christmas in America is, unusually for them, is they get it on Christmas Day like we do. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the one episode in the year where it goes right across the States, and I think they do in Australia too, but definitely in the States. And so they can partake 
as it were, live at the same time with mm. the same episode. And what the, what the Americans have never had is they didn't know what Christmas specials were until okay. maybe the last recent years, because uh -huh. the British have Christmas specials. Okay. The Americans never really had them. But but a lot of people write to us and say, no, we've really got into this British thing about Christmas specials. I think it's really yeah. nice, you yeah. know, special festive episodes. So that's a big thing in the States now. You've had some... Set visits from very famous people. Yes. Yeah. Jonathan Van Tam. Mm. I know. Went and visited. I mean, yes. that's extraordinary. Yes. They How became, weird. He became a pen friend of uh, Sister Judy Parfit, who plays Sister Monica yeah. Joan. I think yeah. she wanted yeah. a bit of COVID advice and, yeah. uh, you know, someone got his email. And <laughs> there he was on set. And is he going to come back and do... He, he was going to come back because Jonathan... Um, had been a fan for years, oh. and him and his wife came, and and it was strange because you see Jonathan on your TV in such an important yeah. time, yeah. Yeah. It, and you're speechless. It's like if I meet a famous footballer or something, uh -huh. completely mm. speechless. But he was quite speechless because <laughs> he was a big Call of Midwife fan, so it was mutual appreciation. You know? Was it a very quiet conversation between the two of you? Both it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, it's you, it's you. But it's fantastic. It's it is really amazing fantastic. how much of the medical profession respect the show. So that's yeah. a huge they really do. And one of the things they really really love about it is that we show the struggles and the fact that medical people can be challenged and feel scared. The human side of medicine. Mm, yeah. They know yeah. all the procedural stuff, but the human side mm. is something that matters. Well, look, it's a fantastically successful show. Yeah. We can't talk much about it, but we thank you for coming in to yeah, tell us about it and remind so us. Much. If you want to watch it, it is on 8.15 on Christmas Day on BBC One. Cannot thank wait. You.